Good morning and welcome back everyone. Yesterday, opening day for FinFest 2013 at Houghton County. Now for the next several days, we'll be live during the mornings to preview activities that will be taking place during this big event. TV6's Houghton Hancock Bureau reporter Sarah Blakely joins us live from the Copper Country Community Arts Centre with more from FinFest. Good morning, Sarah. Hey Vicki, yes I am at the Community Arts Center in Hancock where there are a lot of Finnish American artists displayed here. Um, you can't see the whole room right now but I can promise you this entire room is just covered, every single wall is covered with art and it is all so great. I am so impressed with everybody right now. I am here right now with Cynthia Cote who is part of the Community Arts Center and she's going to tell us a little bit about these Finnish American artists. So Cynthia, good morning, good thanks morning. for joining me. Uh, what can you tell me about some of these artists? artists here today? Well, we, um, we have about 170 artists that we represent, and a lot of them are Finnish American artists, and we're starting to find that out. We've known who our Finnish American friends are, but um, with all the festivities and all the preparations for FinFest, um, th that's been the standard question. It's like, are you Finn? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, is there like a particular age group? I know I see over in this corner back here, there's, it looks like some younger artists back there. That's our youth art gallery, and we always feature art by young people. Um, but this month we have an exhibition of um, young artists from Hancock High School who are Finnish American. So there's about 16 artists in there that um, that were um, selected by their art teacher to um, help us celebrate FinFest. Oh, that's so great that younger people are getting involved in the arts, too. Right. What are some of the other exhibits that are going on? I know that this is not the only place where there is going right. to be art. There's over 20 other exhibits there's, I hear? There's 20 exhibits in the area and um, we have um, quite a few of them here. We have some window displays but we have Joyce Koskamaki's recent work is, which is in the carriage gallery as well as the young people that we mentioned. Um, we'll have a, a reception for those shows on Saturday from 1 to 3. Um, other exhibits include the galleries in Calumet, um, the Finnish American uh, Heritage Center, the Finlandia Gallery, and the Reflections Gallery on the, um, the, at the Jula Center. Also the um, Rosé Performing Arts Center, um, the gallery that's there in the lower level, and then the two mezzanines on the upper level. And each of those um, uh, galleries up on the mezzanine area have exhibits that came from Finland. So we're really pleased to be working with uh, Finnish artists as well. So. Yeah, and there is going to be another feature artist here tomorrow, right? Dan Schneider, he's going to be doing um, some letter pressing demonstration. What what can we expect from that? <laughs> We're going to be um, in our letter press studio, which you'll probably get a, a look at um, a little bit later. Um, and Dan Schneider is um, our our printer, and he's been working um, with our presses and um, doing a really interesting project. He um, um, took the Tiomias. Um, newspaper, which was the Finnish language newspaper here in Hancock, um, and took the front page from 100 years ago and um, worked with people to translate it, and he's uh, print, uh, printed a set of broadsides from that newspaper. So he'll have those available, and um, he will be here uh, actually demonstrating on our old presses. So. Well, that'll be so cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, we'll be back here in just a few minutes again to look at some more things here in the Art Center. Um, Vicki, yeah, there's a lot of really cool art here. For anybody who's watching, if you can make it down here to look at this, I would say do it. This is quite a display here. That I mean, there's there's different types of art for everybody. There's abstract, there's concrete, there's all, all kinds of stuff. There's animals, there's... Um, there's all kinds of art here, obviously. Um, so, yeah. So, reporting live in Hancock, Sarah Blakely, TV6 News. <laughs> all right. You're very excited, and hopefully we'll be able to hear more about your helicopter ride next time through, too. Thanks. <laughs> Love and past. Right. Welcome back. FinFest, a national celebration commemorating and paying homage to the homeland. Now, this year, the annual event being held in the Copper Country, where a group of Finnish immigrant workers or migrant workers landed in the UP back in 1865 to work the copper mines. It's five days of fun featuring artists, musicians, and more from around the world. Sarah Blakely joins us again at the Copper Country Community Arts Center with more. Good morning, Sarah. Hey, Vicki. Yeah, we are back here at the Arts Center. Um, 
yeah, you had mentioned that there's a lot of different things going on, and we definitely don't want to miss out on all of the art opportunities that are here this week, along with all the music, the events, the festivals, the Tory, all of that good stuff. So I'm here again with mm -hmm. Cynthia Cote at the Arts Center, and uh, we are in front of a letterpress machine. That's what this machine over here was. Um, it is an old letterpress machine, and she's going to tell us a little bit about that. So Cynthia, what can you tell us about this machine? Um, this is a Chandler and Price Pilot Press. It's hand-operated, and it's over 100 years old. And it, um, a wonderful project was printed on it um, in preparation for FinFest. Uh, Daniel Schneider, who is um, working with our presses here at our letterpress and book art studio, um, did a project over a long period of time, and um, it's been in the works. Uh, he and Hanu Lepinen um, uh uh, with Hanu's help, he um, they tra he translated um, the front page of the Tiomias paper, which is the Workman, and um, we have uh, a, a copy of the work that Dan Schneider did. It's a set of six broadsides from the front page of the Tiomias in June uh, 1913. So this is the first time that it's been translated into English, and. Um, it's just a wonderful little piece that he that he made. It's printed in Finnish, as it was, uh, duplicating the the type font and the size and and everything about it. And then um, on the other side, it, the translation in English: um, Michigan Copper Country's uh, mine workers on strike. So it's from that actual newspaper a hundred years ago. Yeah, what can you tell me about the Tiomia? Did I say Tiomias? it correctly? Um, it was a socialist newspaper, and it was here in, in Hancock, and I believe it was the first Finnish language newspaper in America. So it was widely read by the people that were here. Um, a lot of the immigrants that came here didn't speak English, so they um, a number of different newspapers were set up in, in, the, in their native language. So. Yeah, and tomorrow Dan is going to be doing uh, a demonstration with this letterpress. What What is he going to be doing? He's going to demonstrate handset type, and he will be printing a piece on our Chandler and Price pilot. So people will get a chance to see and uh, see the presses operating, but also to learn a little bit more about this fine craft that um, we are helping to revive. So um, he will be here uh from uh, 3.30 to 5.30 on Friday. So he'll give a little program. Um, people can spend time in the studio and ask him questions and, and, and see it in process. Perfect. Well, thanks again for joining me. Uh, we will be back again in just a few minutes, I believe. Um, for more information about the FinFest schedule, about any kind of events that are going on that you want to check out, you can find that on our website at UppermichiganSource.com. And at the top of the page, just click on FinFest 2013. Reporting live in Hancock, Sarah Blakely, TV6 News. All right. Thank you so very Welcome much, Welcome back, Sarah. everyone. All morning, we've learned about the various art exhibits that will be featured during this year's FinFest. TV6's Sarah Blakely joins us live from the Copper Country Community Arts Center with more on what you can expect on the artistic side this weekend. Sarah? Good morning, Greg. Yes, that is right. I am at the Copper Country Community <laughs> Arts Center in Hancock where there is a lot of Finnish American art feature here. We are currently in a special feature room. Um, I'm here with Cynthia Cote, who is from the Art Center, and she's going to tell us about the artists featured in this room and some of the other receptions that are going on this weekend. So, Cynthia, whose art is featured in here? This is recent work by Joyce Koskinmacki, and she's a Finnish-American artist that lives here in Hancock. She um, uh, taught at Finlandia University, and this is the place of her roots. She, her family was originally from Herman, down by Lawrence. So, um, we're really pleased to have her exhibit here. So um, this is brand new work that she created specifically for this exhibition. So. Great. Yeah, what are some of the receptions that are going on this weekend? Um, this, well, this evening there will be receptions up in Calumet um, at the galleries up there um, from 7 to 9. And then on Saturday the reception will be here from 1 to 3 for Joyce Koskamecki, and she'll give a gallery talk, and we'll have some really wonderful um, Finnish foods. And... Um, and then uh, in the evening from 5 to 7, there'll be a reception at the Rosé Gallery over at the uh, Rosé Performing Arts Center. So there'll, there'll be an exhibit over there. So Great. Is there any one exhibit around that you just especially like a lot? <laughs> it's hard to, to zero in on that because I really love art, but um, there are so many really wonderful quality exhibits here. Um, there's also one that should not be missed at the um, Finlandia Gallery at Finnish American Heritage Center. 
Um, that's the, um, from the permanent collection at Finlandia University. So there are Finnish and Finnish American artists in that collection. It's really uh, great to see. So the nice thing is that a lot of the um, art exhibitions that are taking place during FinFest are open to the public, so you don't have to have a ticket. But um, you know, we we were hoping that people are participating in FinFest. So absolutely. And for people who want to come check out the community art center here, when are you guys open? We're here ten to six Tuesday through Friday, and one to five on Saturday. But for this week, we're open till 8 on Friday, and then we'll be open all day on Saturday, 10 to 6. So. Wonderful. Well, Cynthia, thank you so much for joining me thank all morning. You. It's been <laughs> a quite a few hours, and we've been just chugging along. And <laughs> unfortunately, it started raining, but that's okay. So thank you so much for joining thank me you. this morning. For anyone who is interested in uh, any of the FinFest events that are going on, you can find that schedule and any other information about it on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com and click on FinFest 2013 at the top of the page. Reporting live in Hancock, Sarah Blakely, TV6 News.